My name is Kavitha Shah, and this is my debut album, Visions. Oh, Kavita is really uh, fresh and unique uh, to me. She's a breath of fresh air, really. It's hard to put her music or her artistry into one category. It's impossible. It's just genuine and, and real and original. You know, I, she's a musician first. She's a great singer, but I think, you know, the way she writes music, and, you know, she's not really thinking about just voice. You know, it sounds like could be a horn player, you know, would be a saxophone player, the line, and the way she improvised too. She's a world citizen. She is truly a world citizen. And I think her music reflects that. I grew up in New York City. My parents are originally from Bombay, India. So I grew up in a household with many different types of cultural influences. While she has many, many threads um, in her music, and many beautiful different threads, a variety, these threads are all woven into her own unique fabric. So the Visions project started when I was a master student at Manhattan School of Music. I was starting to think about how I could put who I am as a person and how I see the world into my music and specifically into jazz. Suddenly I had this idea to try working with different instruments that are not typically used in jazz. My name is Yakuba Sisoko. I'm from Mali in West Africa and I play the West African harp called it Kora. Kora is a very um, unique traditional instrument and it's very magic in West Africa. Uh, and also we are Jali. Jali are the storyteller and peacemaker. My name is Steven Salucci and I play the tabla, which is a classical drum from North India. Well, typically the tabla is played in um, Indian classical music, but what I'm bringing it to with Kavita's project is much different. And I think that's what's something that's new about this project. It's not just taking an Indian expert and a jazz expert and an African expert and saying, go, you know, meet halfway and, and do what you do. But rather it's saying, well, let's have the kora play a melody and let's have the tablas be a part of the percussion with the drums and let's just create this atmosphere together. There's no intention on my part to say, okay, I'm doing Indian music now, I'm doing African music, I'm doing jazz. Now I'm doing a Wayne Shorter tune, so this is the jazz number. Now I'm doing a, you know, Afro-Brazilian tune. Now I'm in Brazilian mode. No, it's just all music and it's all part of the same whole. You know, she could just focus on um, American style or Indian music, and you know, but she's really look for other music, check other music, and get inspired by all that, all those music. I think that's what we do. And the beauty of life, at least for me, is a mix of cultures. You know, when she got that that down, you know. So the first thing you hear on the album is Lionel on the guitar. After he's playing his ostinato, then you hear the tabla. And then you hear the chora. And then the voice comes in in Cape Verdean Creole. So it's also trying to sort of establish that this is not going to be something you've heard before. This is a little unexpected. There's a twist here. There's something that might be recognizable, but there's also definitely new elements in there. One of the things I like the most about playing Kavita's music is that I get to play with a lot of music that is my favorite music. Sort of, ironically, it's very different from the music I actually end up playing most of the time, which is Indian classical. Um, but, you know, with these tunes, it's, uh, it's Stevie Wonder, you know, and it's a lot of different hip-hop influence. It makes me want to kind of dance and groove. Harmonically, some of the songs from, from the album are definitely <laughs> they are jazz material and harmonically and, and uh, in terms of improvisation, you know. So the spirit of jazz is there. But at the same time, the, the culture of, of the musicians, of, or, of the style, are still present, you know. The, we all have the same um, language. This is, we're using the same vocabulary, which is jazz, but with different accents, just like I'm speaking with my own accent. You know? I think the, the reason why this Visions project is also exciting for us musicians is that 
It also opens up new, new possibilities uh, musically and also new possibilities of, of uh, mixing different musical cultures and different musical backgrounds to play music together. I was very fortunate to work with incredible musicians on this recording, most of whom are people I've been playing with for almost two, three years now. On the piano we had Steve Newcomb from Australia. On the bass we have Linda O, oh, also from Australia. On the drums we have Guillaume Fouza from France. On the guitar we have Mikhail Valeano, also from France. We have Yakuba Sissoku on the kora. We have Steven Salucci on the tablas. And we have several special guest artists, including Steve Wilson on the saxophone and Rogério Bocato on percussion from Brazil. We also have a string quartet on two songs. Of course, the project was produced by Lionel Loeke from Benin. Working with Lionel is really effortless, and making music together is really effortless. I think the most important about this project is the band sound. You know, the guys, that, it sounds like a band. And I wasn't surprised because they play a few times together, and that would come across the music clearly because it's not just like putting good musicians together and saying, let's do it. You know, it's a musician who, like I say, has pretty much the same visions and they were there to support the music and, and, uh, and to be themselves, you know. They had, it, was, it was a great, great, we had a great time. You know? You're hearing the relationships that we all have with each other and friendships and musical camaraderie. Music for me, just like anything in life, ultimately it's about people. It's people that bring music to life and um, it's the people on this recording that make it special for me. I feel like in a way, bringing people together from all these different cultures, bringing these different songs together that mean something to me, by Stevie Wonder and Joni Mitchell and M.I.A. and Wayne Shorter and Joe Bean, people you wouldn't necessarily think to put together at, uh, at a dinner table. <laughs> I think that's sort of my way of connecting to the world, creating my little universe. It's a very honest uh, statement played by musicians who all played their hearts out. The music is fantastic and um, it just gives you a lot of joy to listen to and um, provoking and uh, nurturing. And, I can't say enough about it. I mean, I love this project, and uh, I'm looking forward to Kavita for many, many years to come. It's been a great musical and human experience, you know. Uh, and I'm also very excited to see where, where, the, where the project is, is going next. I'm blessed, you know, and I'm proud of Kavita, you know. Only I can say I want Kavita to keep going. Kavita, go. Sometimes you go on the street and you smell, a like, good smell, you know, somebody's cooking. It's, you don't know who's cooking. It's like, hmm, if it's a restaurant, you go back tomorrow, you say, man, one day you're gonna sit down and, and eat, because just from the smell. And that's the, like something we do in Africa, right? You just, hmm, you know. And that's exactly the way I, uh, I hear this music, and I'm sure people will get into the music the same way, just like, hmm, what's this? Oh. What? Huh? Huh? It will take you on this journey. It will take you in unexpected places. Um, but eventually come full circle and tell you a story. And tell you my story. <laughs> <laughs>